All right, now here we are finishing up these good old homemade donuts. We on our last ball of dough. I reckon I could have saved some and make a biscuit or two. So Chase, what are we going to do with those dumplings now that we got them done? We're going to mix with this chicken. That's right, sir. We're about, to go, uh, we're about to go drop these things back over here in the pot. Got to drop them in slow. One at a time. That chicken, that chicken will be returned back to the broth as well. Well, uh, how many days you reckon we can eat on this? Oh, you ought to be able to feed a family of 14 on it at least for two or three days. Now, if you made it with the armadillo like we used to do, a rabbit or squirrel, then it won't feed that much because they ain't as much meat as a chicken. So you, you're telling me I can feed my kids and me, Ma, and Grandpa all at the same time? That's right. That's right. A family of 14 will all be fed at least two times. Well, does it freeze very well? Can I stick it in the freezer over there? You could if you wanted to, but I tell you, it ain't going to be as good. So I just need to eat it all in one big helping, right? I tell you, that's right. Yep, yep. Even my dog would lick its butt if you give him some freezer burn food. All righty. Here we are with these nice, fresh, homemade dumplings. Got a whole big plate full of them. We're going to transfer these dumplings this cooking sheet here so we can go over to the darn pot. Dry them chicken pieces and dumplings back in there. 